Um, so we got Shimmerdrift Veil, Stockhead Island Forest. So we can play Saw It Coming and Stella and start ramping toward our Icebreaker character. Seems good. And I go first. So my Saw It Coming is even more efficient. Red for Stella. We even got a replicating ring. Which could be worth playing before Svella? I'm not sure. Ooh, we got lots of options. Yeah, this ramps us this turn. Svella ramps us next turn. Um, and she costs six mana to do it. This only costs three. So, since I'm a bit short on mana right now, I just want to start with as much ramp as I can. So right now we're taking some hits from Beskir Shieldmate, but that's fine. You can foretell Crush. Use this to play that foretell Crush. Or keep up Saw It Coming. Yeah, I think I should Glittering Frost. And uh, I'm going to foretell Crush. Hopefully they just play some more small creatures that I can then crush. But I'm sure that Saw It Coming will be helpful at some point, even if I don't play it now. Oh, look. Yeah, I made the right play. Okay, Mountain... Spella. Yeah. Okay, and now we're just waiting. Counter anything that targets Spella and start ramping. Gotta get this cracked in. So, what can they have? My guesses would be the Yarl that kills a creature of what took damage. Oh, they have Vengeful Reaper. Okay. I think I'm fine with that, because um, I would rather counter something that targets Stella. So there's Jarl, or there's the Judgment, it deals 5 damage to an attacking creature. Beautiful. This wraps us toward our Kraken. We're getting close. Um, I, yeah, there's not much to do but sit back and relax. Yeah, we're taking two a turn from the Reaper, but we'll be fine for now. We need to run ashore. Okay. So, turns out Crush the Week is not as good in this matchup as one would hope. Wrapped in with Svella. Yeah, that makes sense. Now we can play the Kraken. Yeah. I mean, that's not awesome, but eh, I'm doing my best. Can we play the Grizzled Outrider? Or play the Grizzled Outrider? I'm far from replaying the Kraken. Yeah, I guess I just do that. Put this on blue. 
And, I mean, I'm dying to the Flyers. I can run them ashore next turn, which I will have to do in order to survive. Oh, can they do this? Do they have a mana? They do. Yep. So, not in a great place. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have exactly enough for this, which taps those down and kills me to the other flyer. So I can survive, but first I need to. I mean, I'm going to crush the weak, so it doesn't matter whether or not I attack. Now I can survive one more turn, at least. Okay, I want both. Um, put that on top or bottom, and return that to your hand. If I bounce that, they'll just replay it with haste, so it's less efficient for me to try and remove it. This one's dead permanently, so that's the one to go back to their hand, so they don't actually have a card that they can replay this turn. That said, I am still in a bad spot. But I can replay the Icebreaker Kraken, which means that the Revengeful Reaper will be tapped down. Oh, I have to do that in order to win, because I don't have enough mana to just win with Avalanche Caller here. But I might actually be able to win this, because now they're down to 16. They're only going to have one blocker next turn. Yeah, and if they don't block, they die. The problem is, I don't think I can kill them, and then their Reaper can kill me. Oh, actually, the replicating ring coming in handy. This might be able to animate all of my lands. This is the second losing game that Avalanche Caller has won us out of nowhere. That's amazing. <laughs>